Well, I'm very sorry for the re-upload. It seems like YouTube is too sensitive and trying to take everything down. To be honest, I am not sure if this channel is safe anymore. Anyways, thank you guys for your support. Hey there, this is just a very short recap for a cultural anime. If you like Mate, then you should watch this anime. If you don't know where to watch it, Google and Incognito are your best friends. The main character, Urakawa, is working as a maid at a mansion, and this guy is her master. It seems like she was from a noble family before working as a maid. Well, no additional context is given here. I guess after some unfortunate incident, she has to work for him. Anyways, he called her to his room for some urgent matter. He told her that it's time for protein time. Well, it is actually a maid training session, since she just started as a maid. In the meantime, she looks very calm and unfazed. It seems like she is already prepared for this crap. Ever since she became his maid, she did not refuse him or yell at him. She is very obedient and going to remove her top protective gear. He stopped her and told her that he just wants her to show him her lower protective gear. All she has to do is lift the protective spell temporarily. She can see that coming from miles away since he is a degenerate like all of us. Therefore, she is still very calm and unfazed as usual. He is enjoying such a magnificent view. After that, he wants her to do that in front of the mirror for self-reflection. He is role-playing as TSA right now, so he is inspecting every nook and cranny of her for illegal items. He did not miss a single spot. Fortunately, she is not American, so there is no firearm on her. During the inspection, she just kept quiet and did not show any emotion. However, deep inside, she feels very disgusted at him and wants to despawn him. Damn, this roleplay seems very accurate. <laughs> Anyways, since he is her master now, she has no right to do that. If only she knew that it is 2023 now, she can cancel the crap out of him in the name of feminist. Well, moving on, he is taking this roleplay too serious, so he starts inspecting her melons to ensure that they are safe for work. Damn, I guess I should do that too for safety purposes. Anyway, he starts to check her holy canal for any leakage. As expected, it is already leaking holy water. He knew that liquid are not allowed on airplane. Since this is an emergency, he has no choice but to seal it using his all-purpose Excalibur. Wait a second, I don't think TSA actually does that. Well, enough of that crap. He is sealing the holy canal like his life depends on it, because he does not want it to flood through the gate. He wants to make sure that she can board the flight. After a while, he used his ultimate move, the protein blast to seal it for good. You guys should do that too if there is any leakage in your house. After the protein sealing time is over, he congratulate her for finishing the first training task. I think he should congratulate himself instead. Meanwhile, she looks like she want to unalive herself. On the next day, he wants to give her some training again. <laughs> Since she is a noble, she might not know about saving water and the environment. So, he is going to teach her that. He wants her to clean his Excalibur the climate-friendly way. She is shocked after hearing that. This must be her first time being this eco-friendly. She looks very disgusted at it, and that is very rude to the almighty Excalibur. However, there is not much she can do, so she starts the eco-friendly cleaning. After that, he rewards her a lot of fresh organic protein for being climate-friendly. She consumed all of it and did not waste a single drop, because she is not picky like the editor. In addition, she knew that protein is the ultimate sacred food. After the five-star housekeeping session is over, he wants her to play a game. What a fucking surprise. He wants her to play real-life Bouncing Simulator 2023. So, she had a lot of fun and protein at the same time. After everything is over, he told her that she has finished her training session, and she is a full-fledged maid now. Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime currently has one episode only. These are the comments and feedbacks for this anime from a cultural website.
So, what do you guys think about the plot and animation of this anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families for some family bonding session. This is a completely different anime, but it also has made in it. The main character is enjoying his life at the maid cafe. He suddenly saw his girlfriend working there as a maid. Both of them did not expect to run into each other. Meanwhile, she knew that her secret has been exposed. When they got back home, he wants to know why is she working there as a maid. In addition, why did she keep her part-time job a secret from him? Huh? Anyways, she told him that she is a strong and independent woman in 2023, so she wants to get a job to earn money. She is keeping her work as a secret because she knew that he will not support her. He is worried about her grades since they are Asian, and there is nothing more important than good grade. She told him that she will study hard, and she will not let her family down. She begged him to let her work for a month, and she will only work on the weekends. After that, it is her turn to question him now. She wants to know why the hell is he at the maid cafe, although he already has her. He told her that he wants to have a change of pace. Luckily, she did not beat the crap out of him into another ethnicity. She told him that she really enjoy making others smile and happy. This is the reason why she really loves working it there. She managed to persuade him to let her work in the end. After that, he asked her if she still has the maid outfit. She took it out, and he wants her to change into it. It seems like he wants to have a personal maid. After she wore it, he immediately removed her melon's protective gear and inspect them for the mean. He is checking out the texture and taste of the melons. He told her that he is very worried if someone snatch her away from him. She assured him that she will only love him and will never break up with him. After she said that, he immediately checked her holy canal for any leaking. What a surprise, it is actually leaking a lot of holy water. Fortunately, he had learned some plumbing lesson from this guy. Therefore, he has the skills and experience in fixing leakage. However, she does not want him to fix it first. She is very tired from work, so she wants to rejuvenate herself by drinking the nutritious fruity organic protein shake. Who wouldn't want to drink some delicious creamy protein shake, right? Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. She starts the melon time, and she is also cleaning his Excalibur the climate-friendly way. This combo attack is over 9,000. As a result, he couldn't handle that, and gave her a lot of limited edition fruity protein shake as loots. That shit is so rare that you guys can't get that from your local store. Well, moving on, she knew that it is a rare delicacy, so she drank all of the fruity protein shake without wasting a single drop. The editor should definitely learn that from her. After everything is ready, it's time for plumbing time. He is using his all-purpose Excalibur as a measuring device and measured the crap out of her holy canal. After measuring for a while, he is going to use the all-natural organic sealant, also known as protein, to seal the holy canal. By the way, you guys can do the same in real life too, if you ever encountered a leakage. Well, enough of that plumbing crap. After a month has passed, she kept her promise and quitted the job. <laughs> However, she became his personal maid during weekends. I guess she wants to get those fresh organic protein as payment, since protein is the international currency and it is also very good for her health. Well, that is the end of my recap for this wholesome anime. This anime has two episodes, and this is part two from episode one. These are the comments and feedbacks for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the maids in these anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families.